Hey, what's going on? Thanks for checking out another video. Uh, in today's video, we're gonna talk about how uh, fucking forgetful I am and what comes with that. So real quick, before we get into today's video, I just wanna to touch on a couple of things that are coming up and uh, some new things I picked up because I'm always, always buying stuff. Um, first and foremost, I am going to Arizona this coming week. I'm gonna be spending four or five days there with my good friend Patrick, my girlfriend, and we're gonna be roaming around the northern part of Arizona, checking out all the beauty that is there, all the amazing desert photos we're gonna get and everything. And I wanted to make sure that I captured it all on video. And obviously you would think that would be this, but I don't feel like bringing this camera with me just cause I don't feel like it. So I'll probably do it on my iPhone, but I also picked up something that you're probably noticing right now for the trip. It's very nostalgic, it's very cool. I think I maybe had one when I was a child. I don't remember, but it's pretty cool. It's this Sony Handycam right here. Uh, I picked it up on eBay for like 130 bucks. Um, it is a Sony Handycam Vision that shoots video high eight tapes. That's those like, you know, here, I'll just show you. That's like these little tapes right here. I don't know if anyone remembers them at all. I kind of remember them a little. I remember their smaller versions. I think they were DV tapes or something, but I haven't really shot tape. But it's actually a pretty cool, fun camera. You're actually watching what I'm recording right now. There I am. Hello. Hi. Here I am. And the audio is coming straight from this camera as well. It's not that bad. Um, but yeah, this is kind of like how it looks. It's got really good exposure balance and everything like that. Here's my one light, here's my other light right here, and then you know, there's my camera right there, my desk, and all of that, and my shelf, and this, and the rest of my apartment. Hey, there's a painting of a dog. Max he used to live here. Uh, but yeah, I'm super excited to have this camera. It's going to be a lot of fun to shoot with. And I got to remember to always turn it off or it won't work. Uh, so anyway, back to me being a fucking forgetful person. Uh, as you can see in this video that I put up a couple of weeks ago, I went to Disney World recently and took my Canon A1 with me and my Fuji X100V. Now, if you remember in the video, uh, my Canon AE1 decided to just like up and die on the first day at the park with no batteries in sight. And then I also forgot my SD card for my Fuji 100V. So that's two right there. Anyway, the next day I got a battery. Remember my SD card, took some great photos. You can check it out up there. Wonderful time. Um, but when we were in Epcot, I was shooting portrait either 400 or 800 and I went home and I developed it, and I realized, lo and behold, I had already shot on that film. Back when I first started shooting with film photography, that was like one of the first roles I bought, because I only bought Portra 400, because I thought that was the best and only good film stock. Still is really good. Um, but I totally forgot of it. I rolled it back into, you know, its canister and just threw it in my bag of film. And then I grabbed that and took it with me. So now I have a double exposure uh, role that's half Brooklyn, New York, Ryan just learning how to use his camera to Ryan now knowing how to use his camera, Epcot Adventureland. Um, so it's, it's, it's a really cool little happy accident that I was glad to get. So what I wanna do right now, just really quickly, show off all the photos I took. And the great thing about it is these photos, even though they're double exposure and not what I really meant for them to look like, double exposure is always fun because it's so artistic, at least in my mind. Um, I think I got some really awesome photos out of it, both the first time I shot with it and the second time I shot with it, but they, it's just really awesome photos. So I'm gonna ch show you them right now and, and hopefully you enjoy them, but I think they're, they're really artistic and cool. And when we're done checking them out, I'm just gonna kind of throw out an idea I had after I saw these again.
a night vision camera thing on here. That can come in real handy. So those photos were really awesome. And uh, it made me think that I actually want to do a double exposure f shoot on purpose this time. So what does that entail? So that basically entails is like when you're loading the film in to just kind of like mark after you've kind of got it all in and rolled and started, mark where mark a line at where the, the film is in the canister, go through the roll, rewind it, and then pull the leader out again and then shoot it again, starting from that mark you started for. So what that mark is doing is that's lining it up so the photos match the photos you took before. I've never done this. I've seen it talked about and it usually works out perfectly. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna find a model and some friends and take some photos or maybe I'll do it while I'm in Arizona with all the beauty that's there and the friends that I'll be there with in general or maybe I'll get a model and do it at my studio or walking around New York City. But I'm gonna do a planned one this time. But uh, those are the photos I took. Those are my double exposure accidents, happy accidents as I like to call them. But uh, I hope you like them. Let me know if you've ever taken double exposure photos on purpose and what I should do to get it properly done. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you look forward to the next couple of videos I'm gonna have coming out surrounding my trip around Arizona, a review of this camera and a video shot with this camera and all the things to come with it. But uh, again, thank you for checking out this video. Remember to just shoot and subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next one, maybe in the desert. Later.